Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about another problem that we got from Indian Olympiad Qualifier in Mathematics or IOQM from 2021. This is a really interesting problem. We have three expressions as you are seeing here and we need to find or evaluate another expression that we are given. Basically, the three expressions that we have are x squared plus y squared is equal to 49, y squared plus z squared plus yz is equal to 36, and finally we have x squared plus z squared plus squared root of 3 times xz is equal to 25. Now what we are going to do is to evaluate the expression that you are seeing here. The expression is 2xy plus radical 3 times yz plus zx. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, as usual, please pause the video and think about this problem. We are going to see you in 15 seconds. Meanwhile, please subscribe to this channel and we will see you in a bit. To solve this problem, we are going to take each expression at a time. The first thing is we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 49. We can write 49 as 7 to the power of 2 and then what we are going to see here is basically we have a right triangle with x, y and 7 as the size of this right triangle as you are seeing here. Are we going to use the same approach for the next two expression? We are going to see that in a bit. Let's focus on the third expression. We have x to the power of 2 plus z to the power of 2 plus squared root of 3 times xz is equal to 25. We are going to write 25 as 5 to the power of 2. And then we are going to construct a triangle with x and z as the sides and beta as the angle between these two sides. And we are going to figure out what value we are going to have for beta here. Now let's take a look at the second expression. We have y to the power of 2 plus z to the power of 2 plus yz is equal to 36. We are going to write 36 as 6 to the power of 2 and then we will construct a triangle with y, z and the angle between y and z is going to be let's say gamma and then 6 is going to be the sides in front of the gamma. And finally we have gamma for the angle in front of C. Based on law of cosines, we can write A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus two times BC cosine of alpha. And we can use the same approach for other sides. Now we are going to use that in the next few minutes. For the one with right triangle, which we have X squared plus Y squared is equal to 49, it's easy. The angle between x and y is basically 90 degrees. Now let's review what we have for y, z, and the 6 to the power of 2 case. The angle in front of 6 is going to be gamma. And we know that cosine of 120 degrees is basically negative 1 over 2. So negative 2 times cosine of 120 is going to be plus 1, which is what we need here. So we can say that gamma is going to be 120 degrees. For the third case, when we have x, z, and beta between x and z, we are going to use cosine of 150 degrees. Remember cosine of 150 is negative radical 3 over 2. So 2 times this value is going to be negative radical 3 and then negative 2 times cosine of 150 is going to be radical 3 which is the case here. So beta is going to be 150 degrees. 
Now let's focus on the expression that we need to find. We need to find 2 times xy plus radical 3 times yz plus zx and we use a to represent this expression. First of all, I'm going to divide the expression by 2 and then I'm going to use sine of 90 degrees when we have just xy, sine of 120 degrees when we have a square t root of 3 over 2 and sine of 150 degrees when we have 1 over 2. So we can say that the problem is going to be evaluating xy sine of 90 plus yz sine of 120 plus zx sine of 150. And if we evaluate this expression, we are going to find half of what we need to find. Now before moving forward, let's review the area of a triangle. If we know the sides are B and C and the angle between B and C is A, then the area of the triangle can be calculated as B C sine of A over 2. If we rewrite the expression that we are going to find and divide it by 2, then we will have 1 over 2 x y sine of 90 degrees plus 1 over 2 yz sine of 120 degrees plus 1 over 2 sine of 150 degrees times xz. Now let's review what we have here. The expression that we have in orange is basically the area of the orange triangle. The expression that we have in red is the area of the red triangle. And finally, the expression that we have in green is the area of the green triangle here. So if we want to evaluate the whole expression, then we are going to evaluate the area of the whole and the big triangle here. And we are going to say that the area of the big triangle is going to be a quarter of what we need to evaluate. Now let's calculate the area of the triangle here. If we have A, B, and C as the sides of a triangle, we can calculate the area of the triangle by calculating the square root of S, which is half of A plus B plus C times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. Now S is going to be 1 over 2, 7 plus 5 plus 6 here, which is 9. And then the area can be calculated as radical 9 times 2 times 4 times 3 which is basically 6 square t root of 6. Remember what we wanted to calculate was 4 times the area of the big triangle. So the expression is going to be 24 times square t root of 6 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more positive mass involved activities and problems from different mass competitions and Olympiads, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Hope to see you in the next video.